Yeah, what's up guys, Naz UFC, welcome back to another video. So a highly requested one, a lot of you guys have asked me to make a submission reversal video. You've probably seen me pull it off on my streams. So I'm going to show you guys every single one. I'm also going to show you my favorite ones, my go-to ones. And, you know, I'm going to tell you whether they're easy or hard to pull off too. So we're going to start off with an easy one. Uh, so we're in the top sprawl position. I'm Gilbert Burns, right? And if my, if my opponent decides to do a get up in the upwards direction, right? Uh, which will put him in the over under clinch position, right? You could actually pull a submission reversal here. So you've got to hold down both triggers. That applies for every submission reversal, by the way. Hold down both the left trigger and the right trigger. And then when he moves up, you flick that right stick up, right? To do a, a submission reversal. And that should put you in the guillotine choke position, right? So, and by the way, when you hit these reversals, you get put in the submission reversal with grapple advantage. So if you want, you can go for the submission straight away will be slightly faster. Doesn't mean it'll be crazy fast, but you'll see what I mean. I hit the reversal, puts me here, and you see I've got like grapple advantage for a bit. Like if you wanted to, you can actually go for the guillotine straight away. It'll be a little bit more faster. You might catch your opponents off guard. So I'm gonna show you guys the next one now, right? Um, so I'm gonna put him in rubber guard, right, in a second. There you go. And so I'm going to quickly say, to do this reversal, your opponent needs to be able to do the flying armbar, I believe, right? And you need to have rubber guard too. So fighters like Dustin Poirier can do this. Gilbert Burns, of course. Um, who else is there, guys? Rose Yama Nunes is another one. So anyone who's got, you know, four-star armbars and rubber guard. Tom Aspinall is a fighter who has a flying armbar, but he doesn't have rubber guard. So, you know, there's a few you can't do it with. You could definitely do it with Gilbert Burns, though. So we're looking at this arm here, the arm that's free. Remember, there's two rubber guard positions. There's one where he's got your 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 right, your left arm trapped, and there's another one where he's got your right arm trapped. In this case, we've got his left arm trapped, so we don't need to worry about the the left arm, right? We just need to look at the one that's free. When he when he moves to the left, and you see this this arm move, right? You, it's a bit of a slow animation. You've got to hold down both triggers and flick your right stick to the left. Right, we're just going to play it and I'll show you guys what I mean. Right, so he's going to move in a sec. There you go. And we get the armbar reversal. Boom, straight into the armbar. And we've got grapple advantage. Not too much grapple advantage, but, you know, good amount. You could go for it straight away. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd, I'd say just play the submission game. If I'm being honest, play it safe. All right, guys, so the next one's from top four guard. So I'm Gilbert Burns, right? And you, your fighting needs to have the Von Flu choke. So, like, Gilbert Burns has it. I know fighters like Jack Hermanson has it. You know, a lot of fighters have the Von Flu choke, right? And um, my opponent's going to go for a, a get up, right? Which is in the upwards direction. Or he might go for a guillotine, right? It doesn't matter. It could be a get up or a guillotine. I've just got to hold down both triggers and flick my right stick up, right? He's going to go for it, and that should put me in the Von Flu choke position. Uh, if you don't like this submission position, then you can hold L2, and it, it'll put you in the arm triangle if you want. The arm triangle is one of my favorite submissions. All right, guys, so the next one's in half guard. Um, so my opponent's going to go towards backside, right? So he's on the bottom. He's going to go backside. And this one, guys, you actually have time to deny. I've actually pulled this off on ranked a few times. Uh, you hold down both triggers. He goes towards backside, and you flick your right stick. And guys. I am hold I am pre-holding the triggers here, but honestly, you could like not be holding it. You can see your opponent move towards backside. And if you're quick enough, you can quickly hold down both triggers and flick your right stick to the right. I'll show you guys what this looks like. There you go. I hit the reversal. And that puts me into the Kimura position. I believe you need three star Kimuras to pull this off. Right, guys, so another one and a half guard. So I'm on top. And if Olivero goes for that full guard transition in the upwards direction, or he could go for a sprawl, but the sprawl is really quick, so that's hard to react to. The full guard's kind of slow. So if he goes for that full guard, you can hold down both trees, flick up, and you need to have the dash choke like in your, your arsenal uh, in order to do this reversal. Um, so fights like Islam, Hamza, you know, loads of people have the dash choke. And it'll put you in the dash choke position. A really strong entry, by the way. I don't know if you've seen that grapple advantage. It was quite full, so good submission. And the dash choke is actually kind of OP on this game, guys. You get loads of one shots with them. All right, guys, there's actually one more reversal in the uh, half guard position. There's three in half guard in total. It's actually crazy. So if your opponent has the Kimura option from the bottom, so I'm Islam Makshif, by the way. Dustin Poirier's got a Kimura option to the left. You'd, 
in ranked, you can't see your opponent's side. You know it's to the left because his left arm is touching my right arm on the left side of your screen, if that makes sense, right? If his right arm was touching my, my left arm on that side, then the Kimura option would be to his right. So all I've got to do is hold down both triggers. When he attempts the Kimura, I flick my right stick to the left, right? Um, the Kimura is, is, it is kind of a fast transition, not too fast. So if you, if you anticipate it, then you can hold down both triggers. But make sure you deny it, you know. If if you're not fast enough to hit both triggers and just hold one like you normally would, you know, as long as you've denied that, if you're confident and you you, you feel like your opponent's going to go for it, then hold down both triggers, get that reversal, and that will put you in an armbar. So I believe you need to have three-star armbars to pull this reversal off. And we'll just look at the grapple advantage you get from it. We'll see how much it gives us. Look at the meter. So, very strong entry, very strong. Look at that. I can from the armbar. I, I can actually throw another punch here, right? And that would actually put the GA up one more notch again, and give you more GA. And obviously, if you've got more grab advantage, your armbar transition will be a lot faster. Boom, and it will be really hard for your opponent to deny it. Right, next guys, we've got my favorite one. Um, so in side control, if my opponent attempts to go half guard in the upwards direction, I can hold down both triggers, flick up to get an arm triangle reversal. Um, you can do this as long as your fighter is able to do the arm triangle in the half guard position. So that's the that's the way I kind of look at it. If I know my fighter can pull off an arm triangle in half guard, then you can do this reversal. Um, you can look at it the same way. It, it, I think it means you need to have a two star or a three star arm triangle. I don't know, but as long as your fighter has the arm triangle in half guard, then they'll be able to discounter. There you go. Right, guys, this next one's actually in backside. So I'm Islam Akshif. I'm the one on top. I'm holding down both triggers, and I'm waiting for my opponent to go for the leg locks. I believe you need to have four-star arm triangles to pull this off, guys. So we're going we're gonna to play this. Olivera's going to go for the leg locks. I'm going to hold both triggers and flick my right stick up, and that will put me in the arm triangle position. That's a really good one, because I'll show you guys that again, right? He's going to go for it. And notice the top of my screen, my grapple advantage meter, right? Look at that. Max GA. If I were to go for the submission straight away there, he was not denying it. He could if he like, you know, if he was fast enough to react, and I mean really fast. But in reality, I would have got that submission. Right guys, I thought I might as well show this too. So you can do a Kimura reversal from the feet. If your opponent takes your back, and you know, this is a quick submission too, by the way, they won't be able to defend this. If you hold the left trigger, the right bumper, and you press either square or triangle, I, I believe it's either square or triangle, it don't matter. I would suggest you quickly press them both, just in case. You can pull off a Kimura reversal, and I believe you need to have five-star Kimuras to do this. So fighters like John Jones, Fedor, Istan Makhachev, I don't know who else. Oh, Overeem, he was one of them. Overeem actually has a five-star um, Kimura, so you could do it with him too, um, which is cool. So I'm going to play it. So I'm holding down left trigger, right bump, and I press square here, and it puts me straight into this Kimura position. It doesn't give you grapple advantage, guys, so it's not a really strong entry. So you've got, got to be really careful and wait for them to move right away. Right, guys, for your interest, you can actually look at your submission moves list. Uh, if you go to game help, then game moves or moves list. And you can go to submissions and you can see like what stars you have and all that sort of stuff. Like Masha has got a three star arm bar. You know, he's got some high level arm triangles. And you know he's got he's got he should have a high level Kimura. Oh, this is Dustin Poirier. Dustin Dustin Poirier's got a two star Kimura. His guillotine should be a lot higher, in my opinion. To be fair, I don't think he's ever pulled off a guillotine submission. All right, guys, I've got a little extra for you guys. You know, this is actually an exploit. I'm going to show you guys for fun. I don't care. EA can fix it if they want. If they see this video, if they don't, then you guys can use it. It's really rare that you'll be able to use this in a real match. To be fair, uh, you could just show your friend it just to you know prank them, but it's funny. Um, so remember I showed you guys that Kimura reversal you can do from here with Islam Makashev. Um, if you've actually picked someone that's able to do that reversal too, so I've just gone Islam Makashev again. So I'm the one holding my friends back, right? And he's going to attempt the, the Kimura reversal, but I'm going to defend it by holding down the right trigger, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to pause it at the right moment. So he's going to go for the reversal. I defend it. But now watch what happens here. So I'm still on the back, right? The position glitches out, you know? So this one is still me. Now I'm actually going to attempt 
the reversal myself. So I'm going to hold down the left trigger, the right bumper, and I'm either going to press square or triangle. So we're going to watch this. Boom, I press square. And look, the animation looks buggy, but I actually put him in the position now. And, you know, I think it's a glitch or in the game. It might not be, it might be intended, but the animation just looks buggy. Who knows? All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys another cool thing you could do. So I'm the one in front now. So I'm going to go for the Kimura. But if my opponent defends it, I'm going to quickly go for a takedown. You know, the animation looks glitchy, but in in short, I'm going to go for the Kimura. My opponent's going to hold R2 to defend. And I'm, then I'm going to quickly hold R1 and I'm going to spam circle to do like that throw from the backside, if you know what I mean, right? Because you, if you defend the Kimura or if your opponent defends it, you, you gain position, you, you gain dominance in the clinch position, if that makes sense. So I'll play it. Look, I go for it. He defends it, position glitches out. You can see here I'm holding R1, I'm pressing circle, right? I technically have dominance in this position now. I, I have his back, but obviously the animation doesn't show, show that. And boom, I go for a takedown. So I'm on the one on top. All right, I'm going to show you guys it again quick. So you'll see it here. So I'm going to go for the Kimura. My opponent defends it. Then I'm going to quickly go for a takedown. Remember, guys, I'm the one in front, right? So... I go for the Kimura, he defends it, then I quickly go for a takedown. Looks super weird, but who knows, you know, it might come in handy in that situation if it ever happens. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Guys, let me know what you want next. Definitely drop a comment, tell me what you want. You know, check my tips and tutorials first, just in case I've already made it. If I haven't, drop a comment, and then I'll I'll make that video for you guys. I've got time, time to make these, so let me know. Um, it could be anything, stand-up tips, ground tips, but be specific. And yeah, guys, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next one. Peace.